Initially, Noyach felt that the proper approach in a post-flood universe must be that of the raven. Toughness, roughness, and unkindliness. Humanity, Noyach felt, received too much love, too much nurture, too much affection, and this allowed people to lose their priorities. It nurtured selfishness and narcissism to the point of moral depravity. Now Nayach assumes we have to start all over again. And who must show the way? It must be the raven. The new world order must be based on sternness, strength, discipline, harshness, aggression, strict judgment. These qualities must prevail if we want to ensure that civilization does not revert again to social and moral chaos. People who have experienced a flood in their life, people who have suffered pain and disappointment in life, and a part of them has drowned, they often feel that the only way for them to build a new life for themselves is by adopting the qualities and the attitudes of the raven. They develop a rough shell, a dark plumage, a dense crust, an aggressive disposition. They become tough, strong, and stern. They are afraid to be abused again. They can't endure the pain twice. They decide that in the post-flood reality, when you try to rebuild your life from destruction, the leader must be who? The raven. You can't be too kind. You can't be too loving. And yet, Nayak soon understood that the raven must be followed by the dove. Because with a raven, you can't rebuild a world. The raven must hover over the new world, going and returning, going and returning, protecting a new society from a love which can be destructive. But who must lead the way in settling the new world, in rebuilding a shattered civilization? You need a dove. We can understand when these people decide to develop a raven attitude to protect themselves. Yet, the human soul is capable of much more. It is capable of not allowing the pain of life to deprive it from its greatest power and potential, the ability to love. The Yeshiva.net